What if cameras recorded everywhere you went from the moment you stepped outside? Spy planes have the ability to do just that, carrying high-resolution cameras that can record every square inch of a city, subjecting residents to constant surveillance. This surveillance is powerful enough to change society, and it's a violation of our constitutional right to privacy. But in Baltimore, the police department is deploying an aerial surveillance program with a company called Persistent Surveillance Systems, which will let spy planes fly over the city for at least 40 hours per week, video recording everyone's outdoor movements. The company will make the recordings available to the Baltimore Police Department to use in criminal investigations. These recordings are detailed enough to give police the ability to go back in time to track pedestrians and vehicles across the city. They can also be linked to surveillance video from ground-based cameras and license plate readers, letting police identify people and see everywhere they go and who they interact with. This kind of tracking is an invasive search into people's movements without a warrant and an infringement on their rights of association, a violation of the Fourth and First Amendments. Persistent aerial surveillance can reveal an enormous amount about us, including lifestyle data, like what kind of doctors we visit, whether we attend political protests, and how often we go to AA meetings. This is a power no American government has ever had or should have. Persistent Surveillance Systems knows this data is valuable. They want to sell it to anyone willing to pay, from insurance companies to police departments across the country. The Baltimore Police Department's decision to put residents under continuous aerial surveillance will affect the privacy rights of everyone, but it's especially dangerous for black and brown residents of Baltimore and any other large city where the program might go next. Law enforcement has secretly used aerial surveillance technology in black and brown communities before, including to monitor Black Lives Matter protesters in Baltimore. And right now, Baltimore is under a federal consent decree for routinely violating people's constitutional rights. Baltimore's police have a terrible history of racism and lack of accountability for abuses. Baltimore should be the last place to test a new mass surveillance scheme. If this program is permitted to go forward, we can expect similar surveillance to spread across the country. We're suing to make sure that does not happen.